Do you know who Big Rob is? I don't. Okay, let me explain Big Rob for you. Big Rob is a, I guess we can call him uh, an Instagram gambler. I guess that's a good way of putting it. Um, I started following him because he made a, a giant name for himself. He bets with his gut. He won a bunch of money, or at least he claimed to. Um, I mean, the guy was internet famous. I mean, just super internet famous. And on on here, and it, it looks like maybe he deleted his, I think he did. Good gracious. Uh, so he used to send me uh, DMs regularly. Now, this was a bot. It was whatever. But the DMs were super creepy. Uh, oh, I think I think he deleted his account, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Uh, he had millions of followers. And they just announced that a federal grand jury indicted him on charges this past week. Where the story is he, quote-unquote, stole... $10 million from a quote-unquote investor. And what happened here? Somebody that he met online that he was scamming, he was, he was trying to be a tout, trying to sell picks and all that, and somebody gave him $10 million that lives in Chicago for him to go and put on these games, and he wanted his return on investment. Right? So, like, whatever you win... I get this, and you get a percentage of it. And I want my $10 million back and whatever. There was no contract. There was no whatever. Basically, it was just some guy that sent another guy $10 million and said, go gamble this and make me some money. Now, if you give money to somebody to gamble with without a contract, and they don't gamble it, should that be illegal? Am I like it? I don't. I don't know. I feel like that can't be everything that's right. That's that's the. There the, has to be something in writing. There has to be an email or a text message back and forth agreeing to do something. Because but, nobody but, talks but on the phone a, anymore. Does a text message or an email absolutely? A if, oh, oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. If you tell me you're going to do something and we come to an agreement on it and then money exchanges hands, I can show proof that I paid for what we agreed upon and then you just take my money and never come back, that is absolutely a contract. That is something that we agreed upon in writing. How is it? What's, what is the contract, Gary? Uh, you don't have to get lawyers involved. You don't have to get something notarized. It's just two people coming to an agreement and putting it in writing. I mean, that's a good point. So a text I, message or an email, I, I'll tell you this. I, our attorney, I do floors for a living. Our attorney has told us, and I have a, a letter from him, but to save face and to save paperwork and all this other stuff, I can email someone a quote for a job, and they just have to email me back approved, and that's it. Now we have a legal contract back and forth, and okay. I just need a one word of approved. And that's it. Whatever I sent them in my quote is what they have agreed to now. And now we have a contract. Interesting. This is not See, a complicated I, thing. You don't have to get lawyers involved. Now, you probably should if you're dealing with 10 millions of dollars. Like, what's a lawyer going to cost? Like, to me in a small business, yeah, a couple thousand bucks is a big deal. 10 million bucks, a couple thousand dollars, nothing. Go get a great attorney, get him to draw you up an ironclad contract and put it down in writing. Yeah, I, I agree. But uh, I, I don't just because feel bad. he didn't do that doesn't mean the guy should have stole you. He's a scumbag. He stole the Sue's money. Yes, and look, I, I will agree with that. I know he's a scumbag. He's, he's been a scammer. He's been a, a scamming tout for years now. He's got all these pictures up on Instagram of him with all these famous people and you know wearing all these expensive clothes and whatnot. Well, it was all fake. It was all just a, a look. And he was trying to get you to give him money. Like, of course, my thought process has always been, if you are selling picks, why don't you just go make the picks, and that way you can make the money? Why do you yeah. need my money? But right. there are some of these guys that fully buy into this crap, and pardon me if I don't really feel that bad for somebody that handed over $10 million 
to a tout and asked him to go gamble it for him rather than just getting the picks and going to gamble yourself. If you got $10 million, you can fly to Vegas and make your own bets. Like, I, that just seemed dumb to me. Like, I almost feel like he should have to forfeit the $10 million just for being that dumb. Well, I'm sure the $10 million is gone. If I had to guess, I'm going to well, yeah. guess this guy blew that $10 million. He oh, wants yeah. him to go to jail for theft. And that's that's okay. The guy lost his 10 mil, and this guy's going to lose his freedom. I'm okay with both of those. I, You know what? I guess you're probably right. You're probably right. Like, I would assume that this was... Uh, this wasn't necessarily to get the money back. It was to. I mean, if you if you get yeah, because this is in civil court, he filed criminal charges. Yeah. So criminal charges means I want his ass thrown in jail. Yeah. I know he didn't blew the money. Yeah, you're right. So and yeah, shame on him. And you, you, but you know what though? You get an opportunity in this world to have buyer's remorse. I mean, almost every product or every service that is sold, there are every state has different laws about like buyer remorse laws or whatever to where you can return anything or you can exchange anything or you can, you know, say you're not pleased with something. And therefore, you know, you're, you're owed, if it was a service, like you're owed something for, for whatever they have to work, do so much to make it right. And if you made claims that I guarantee you, I can double this 10 million and you put that in writing anywhere, a text message or an email then or or a recorded phone conversation, then then that's, you made a claim. Agreement. Yeah. And then if I said, okay, here's ten million dollars, can you double this? And you said yes, you just click the prove, brother. Yeah. You're on the hook and I need my twenty million. That's a that's a very valid point. So while while the guy is an idiot, you know, he 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 still has there are laws protecting people who are suckers and who, who just buy stuff and get scammed. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're right. I think you're right. All right. I do believe that is going to wrap it up for this evening. Uh, is there anything else we need to hit on? I think that's it, man. I think that's it. We're going to be back. We're going to record again on Sunday night. Uh, obviously we will have much to discuss. We are getting ready to preview the Super Bowl. We'll be doing that on Tuesday night. So that, uh, podcast will be out on Wednesday uh, we will have stuff out on Monday and Tuesday, of course. Uh, go over to winningcureseverything.com, of course. All of our stuff is over there. Uh, all of our picks, previews, podcasts, whatever. Make sure you hit subscribe on the podcast. Leave a nice review. Make sure you hit like, hit subscribe. Leave some comments on the YouTube uh, if that is where you're watching right now. Uh, if that is it, oh, go to tunicatravel.com. Tunica, Mississippi. South's premier sports gambling destination. They bring in the show every week. Go check out their sports books. We are uh, we are working on our NCAA tournament uh, setup. Uh, I got an email today. We are in the middle of getting that squared away. We will let you guys know hopefully next week sometime. Uh, I think we can get it done fairly quickly. If not, it'll be the week after the Super Bowl. But we'll let you know. NCAA tournament opening two days. Uh, we will be somewhere down in Tunica, and we'll let you know as soon as we find out. Uh, in the meantime... We will see you guys again uh, next week. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.